Now we will go for most most important scenario of the project. In that case, this testing tool is very very helpful. Suppose on a particular day, suppose ten IDOC posted, ten IDOC successfully posted, and data entered or data gone to one table, data gone to one table, but. One column value is wrong. Just understand the scenario of the project. What happened? Ten IDOCs generated on a particular day. All IDOCs are in green color. Means they successfully posted yes. But when we check the data in the table, one column value is wrong. But now the question comes: How you will understand that? Why that one column value gone wrong in the table? In that case, this testing tool will be very very helpful. You can just take the reference of any of the IDOC which got generated, and you can just see in debugging mode why why the value went wrong at that point of time. Suppose simple. If I will go to W A zero two. I will just go for some date, and I will pick some IDOCs. Suppose these all IDOCs are in green color, but these IDOCs are in green color. They posted the data successfully, but data is wrong in that table. So what we have to do? We will just take the reference from one of the IDOC number. We will debug and check. What happened at that point of time, and why why the data went wrong? So in that case, this test tool will be very very helpful. Suppose I will take this IDOC number three eight two zero two eight. I will go to my testing tool. I will go to W E nineteen. I will put this IDOC number. Anyways, we are choosing this radio button. You are going for existing IDOC radio button. I will remove this messy type. Anyways, it's of no use because at a time only one radio button. Yes, we'll go for OK. It is clearly bringing the data of that IDOC number. If you see that this IDOC number. But is the data attached to this IDOC number one zero one and Abhishek? Same process. You can click on to inbound function module. You can simply simply take the function module. You can go for call in debugging and you can go for foreground because once you run this in the debugging mode, you will understand at that point of time. That when this when this IDOC processed, what happened at that point of time? Now I will go for OK and most important point, and this is our future future topic. I will go for OK. I will go to desktop three, and if I will show you IDOC underscore data, IDOC underscore data, have you seen? This is the new IDOC number got generated. We put the reference. We put the reference of this IDOC number three eight two zero four eight. But what SAP is generating a new IDOC number? We put the IDOC number three eight two zero four eight. Sorry, not this. I'll just show you. Okay. Yes. Three eight two zero two eight. We put the IDOC number three eight two zero two eight, but SAP is generating a new IDOC number three eight two zero four nine. Data is same, but SAP is generating a new IDOC number, and this is the most most important point in terms of WE nineteen. WE nineteen is a testing tool. So it will always, always generate a new IDOC number. See, you put some different IDOC number, but when you start the processing through this testing tool, SAP is generating a new IDOC number. 
now you can simply understand in the debugging mode why why this data went wrong at that point of time so this is again one of the best use of the testing tool that we can recognize that what happened at that point of time now if i will read the theory of we19 what is the theory of we19 it is a testing tool for the itoc and this tool always always generates a new idoc number always just now we saw it always generates a new idoc number if you are passing the existing idoc number also still it will generate a new idoc number and you can only only process one idoc at a time just see are you able to process more than one idoc at a time no it is not possible we can only put one idoc at a time if you are going for other ways also yes we can only only go for one idoc at a time now the last most important part of this testing tool is it is a test tool so always always avoid to use in the production system because just most important point this is a testing tool and it is always generating a new idoc number so why in the production system we should generate a new idoc number unnecessarily so you should always always use this test tool in the development and quality system never use in the production system because unnecessary new idoc will generate and it will confuse all other people that how how this new idoc generated at that point of time so always always avoid always avoid the use of we19 in the production environment so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with one of the most important tool of sap it is a test tool for the idoc we19 is the transaction code and this test tool we have so many scenarios in which we can use this test tool before going for final process we can check we can use this test tool to check everything is is fine or not if something or is in something already successfully posted but some data is wrong while posting so with the help of this test tool we can check why this happened at that point of time but this tool always always generate or we can process one idoc at a time with the help of this never use this tool in the production system as it is a testing tool because it always generates a new idoc number and we should never never unnecessarily generate new idoc number in the production system in the next video whenever we will go to bd87 transaction code i will come on to this point i will come on to this point and this video is extremely important that's it in this video thank you